Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be going over another Walker Weekend, a little mini event that's going to be taking place on a non-war weekend. It seems to be something that's going to be appearing quite often and there's going to be some nice rewards up for grabs in this one and a guaranteed Premier Gold Mythic if you and your faction do complete everything that is required. And just reading through it, it says Walker Weekend starting Friday. Work with your faction to survive a Walker Weekend and get a chance at every tough Premier recruit with Kevlar recruits. The event times are as follows. It starts on the 15th of April at 12pm Pacific time and it ends on the 18th of April at 12pm Pacific time. So lasting just the three days, kind of the standard what we've come to expect with these Walker Weekend events. The Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday events, pretty much just a little bonus. Reading on it says players can run the daily Walker Leg roadmap to pick up gear, trainers and a Walker Leg. Use the Walker Leg to unlock the daily Walker Challenge roadmap and be rewarded with Armory tokens, Ability Trainers, Gold Mythic tokens and a Trauma token for Kevlar recruits once you finish. Plus, factions can work together and fight back the walkers and get rewarded with TWD gold medals from the Walker Weekend missions. Reading over the Walker Leg roadmap, this should pop up each of the day of the event, so I guess it would be for the three days of the event because it starts on Friday evening and it ends on Monday evening. So it'll be you know, the Friday to Saturday, Saturday to Sunday, and then Sunday until Monday would be the three times it pops up. We can see that it costs world energy to complete and there's going to be multiple acts. You can see the rewards on the right hand, hand side. We're going to be getting trainers, gear markers, that sort of thing. It does scale up a little bit in terms of how much it costs to do each act. But it also scale up in how much you're going to get as the rewards. This act 3 reward for completion is going to be the walker leg. And I assume this is going to unlock something else for you and uh, a roadmap that you can potentially complete. We have had this done in the past as well. And that would be the Walker Challenge roadmap. And you can see the first day requires the Walker leg un to unlock it. So you need to do the first day's daily roadmap and then get the Walker leg to unlock the first you know, act here for the first day. And then again, you're getting some rewards here. You're getting military supplies, Lilith Ulysses, gear, gold mythic tokens. It's going to cost world energy to complete this. Armory tokens on top as well. Day two is going to be the same again. Pretty much exactly the same in rewards. And then day three, exactly the same again. And pretty much the same rewards, except you can see for the completion rewards, you are going to get this trauma token, which is, of course, going to be a guaranteed premier gold mythic from the new Kevlar recruits wheel. We'll check out the Kevlar recruits wheel in just a second. But first, we'll look at the Walker Weekend missions. And these are just missions as a faction. You just defeat walkers, and it's going to be a a reasonable grand total, no doubt. Probably going into the hundreds of thousands. It is over a few days. It is going to be 100,000 walkers defeated as a faction. And you're probably going to be able to get your hands on around about, I'm going to guess, 15 to 20,000 gold medals. And these are going to be the ones you hand in for the likes of Wang Fa or let's say Lydia or Mike, if you haven't got those characters already. So the non-RNG selection of gold mythic characters in the mythic store. Quick peek at the choice box content rewards. If you didn't know what was in them, it is this stuff. Before we just quickly jump on to the Kevlar recruits. And here is the Kevlar recruit information. You can see it is going to be a premium wheel effectively for two weeks. It is tied into a lot of different other things in the game at the moment. Like the gold rush that's going on and you know premier events but you are going to be able to get at least one pull off this free to play just from this walker weekend event as you can see kevlar recruit contents one trauma token which is what you get from that roadmap equals one open and it has all the 10 percent tough characters that are in the game currently and you have a chance of getting mr jones st paddy's priya the trader vance davy cliff uncle sam ash ty razo and mirabelle that is all the 10% tough characters right now. There is also some odds on you know, the appearance rates, as you can see. And it is going to be a 99% chance at getting one tough gold mythic of those characters listed. But you have a 1% chance. So you know, one person out of every 100 is going to get lucky enough to just walk away with a times five just off of that one pull. If you do want more pulls, you can do the gold rush. You can buy offers. It's up to you how much, obviously, you want to go into this. It depends, obviously, on how much you want those tough characters. 
And a lot of those things have started up already. We can check out the missions. And you can see if we scroll down to the bottom, we have got, I believe, Tough to the Bone, which is effectively the gold rush that's going on right now. It doesn't give gold mythic tokens as rewards, but it could potentially be good to go in for a 10 pull if you're very short on silver mythics. As you can see, you can get, I believe, 10 silver mythics just from doing 10 pulls. Then you're going to move on and start getting these uh, trauma tokens. And it looks like you're going to get a grand total of five trauma tokens this time around. And these trauma tokens can be used on the trauma wheel, which we will just check out. But there are two semi-premium events, mainly premium events here. Um, I probably will do a video about this. There's just so many premium events going on right now. But bulletproof sniper missions, you are going to get those trauma tokens. But you will just be able to log in every day, even without buying the effectively the battle pass item, which is sniper ammo. You will be able to get 5,000 gold mythic tokens for each of these two bulletproof events. Rifle missions and sniper missions. I believe if you want to purchase the effectively the key to be part of these events, I believe it's $25 for the key for the rifle missions and $50 for the key for the sniper missions. So, you know, very heavily premium here. And here is the Kevlar recruits wheel. Just as confirmation, it's going to see all those tough characters go past. If we bring down the odds, it's just confirmed 1% and LB3. It's just a times five coming out. And 99% are just, you know, a non-LB3. It's going to be guaranteed to be one of the characters in this wheel. And they are all, you know, former Premier characters. Characters that, ones that you had to spend coins on to actually get them as characters. So non-event characters will not be included in here. But there will be some older ones. For instance, Ash, Ty, Razo, and Mirabelle. Some of the older tough characters are in here. So you could get unlucky effectively. You could get one that you've got a lot of LB3s of. I've got a majority of these at LB3. Only pretty much Mr. Jones and, and Priya are the ones that would be any good for me. Now, of course, the bit shop has already reset. And I know a lot of people already have claimed the full 25 claims on the gold mythic tokens from the guild bits. And I think this is going to be kind of a theme. The second this resets, all 25 are going to get claimed instantly. It's not too hard to claim 25. There were some people who were claiming the full 200. This, you know, the second it came out, obviously... People who are generally buying a lot of gold mythic tokens as extra, doing a lot of extra pulls. But this is now going to be claimed day one by the majority of people, I think. So you're going to be relying on these other rewards, pretty much. It's up to you how you want to spend those guild bits going forwards. But, um, you know, th this uh, this is does not seem too rewarding when it comes to the gold mythic tokens. And that's all the info on the Walker Weekend event, as well as some extras when it comes to you know how to get those kevlar recruit tokens you could just go for the one just from this event you could go for the ones in the gold rush there's a lot of extra ways you can get those kevlar recruit tokens and like i said guarantees at tough recruit guarantees at premier tough recruits every single time you do a pull do tell me your thoughts on this particular walker weekend event you know, do you like these returning on a on a regular basis? And I think this is only the second time this particular kind of like structure has been used. I think they've done two in the past and they've been different structures. So if we get one of this kind of structure once per month and then the other structure once per month, it keeps it a little bit fresh, you know? It's quite a big deal in just keeping the game a little bit fresh and not too repetitive. But I don't mind these too much. I think the rewards are pretty decent. There isn't too much time commitment to having to do it. And it seems generally worthwhile because it's generally rewards that we all use. Do leave your thoughts on these events in the comments down below though, guys. That is the end of my video. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.